Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. I've always been attracted to different mobile devices. I have. I don't carry many of them with me because my pockets are only so big and my wallet's only so fat. Uh, so that kind of narrows uh, my field of options. Of course, it's narrowed even further uh, given that I'm on one particular network. And it always confused me why certain phones would only work on certain networks, especially when the wireless networks, the protocols that they use, would be compatible with the other phones. It's just the service provider wanted to levy certain restrictions or change the software used on the phone. It just uh, very just stupid to me. User unfriendly. Okay. Anytime you hear someone talking about uh, the wireless product that they have, they they may be raving about their phone, but either they're indifferent or they're complaining about the service provider for that wireless device always seems to be the case. Of course, I've heard many people complain about their phones too, and those are typically the people who say, well, I got a phone, it's a piece of junk. It was $20, I got it for free. Came out of a gumball machine. And yes, my dad is one of those people. I don't understand why it's horrible. I love you, dad. I do, but I'm sorry. If you pay $20 for a mobile device, yeah. <clears throat> this email comes all the way from Estonia. Oscar writes, I've been a member of your chat room for a week or so now. I have to tell you that I really like what you're doing, and your opinion is very good most of the time. Well, you can't win them all. You want to help others, and that's good. We could always say that this rules and that sucks, but you don't. Even if Microsoft made a big mistake with Vista, you still wanted to help just to make it good. Also, you help other users. In most cases, they're geeks and power users, but you also like to help home users who just want to know which OS to choose or something else like that. Well, I wrote this letter to discuss the wireless topic you talked about. I wanted to know your opinions about mobile networks. What if the networks went international as well as they were national? You see, almost every mobile network, if not all, charge you more for making an international call. I think that's wrong, because we're living in an age where families and friends live far away. I'm not talking about cheap calls or anything. I just think there should be a mobile network or something that does these five things. One, they charge every call the same, no matter if it's a video call or just a regular voice call. Two, the network is everywhere. This is important because the only way this thing could work is if it was global. Mobile networks for everyone to call everywhere with the same price. This also means that it wouldn't be like it was with AT&T and the iPhone today, as in you had to have one and the other. Everyone, no matter where they live, could use premium services on this network. Three, every country gets the same network, the same services, and all that the company can offer with the same price and quality. Four, tries to make a contract with all mobile companies to work on their network. Five, and the last thing they should do is learn from their community. Maybe this doesn't make any sense, but I'm really waiting for a mobile network that would treat the whole world the same and would listen to the community. What are your thoughts about this, Chris? Thank you for reading and hopefully replying to this, Oscar. Well, Oscar, I'm glad you stumbled into our small community here. And even though you've been hanging out for a week, you, you pretty much you, you nailed me, at least. Uh, I'm all about the community as much as I possibly can be. Uh, you know, And I know some people would argue that I'm just the opposite. There's not much I can do about paying attention to everything and everybody all the time. But that's what the chat room's for, because if I'm not paying attention, other people certainly are. Um... First of all, I am totally in behind you 110% on what you're proposing here. But the problem is politics. I mean, if, if you can look past the differences between companies within the same country, uh, when you bring it to the international market, I mean, the politics just get, get deeper, like a hundredfold. Um, but that being said... A lot of devices come with Wi-Fi, and the internet, last I looked, was pretty ubiquitous. So if a device was out there that relied on Wi-Fi to deliver voice and video through, let's say, a 
Skype connection, an IM connection, doesn't matter. Uh, you could pretty much be off the grid. And you just think about that for a second, okay? If you've got Wi-Fi, and let's face it, no one owns Wi-Fi, uh, and a, a device, or just a regular old camera, you can connect with anybody, anywhere, anytime. You could use your webcam and do a video call with me and it wouldn't cost you anything. If you did it on this, it would certainly cost you something. If I did it on this, it would cost me something. I don't know if it's always going to be that way. I, I really don't. Uh, Google, I think, is going to do a lot of good by releasing Android. And this is an open platform. Uh, if an enterprising developer comes around and makes a wireless video phone that does nothing but connect to wireless uh, networks as in Wi-Fi, local Wi-Fi or WiMAX towers, uh, suddenly you are, for all intents and purposes, you know, with security protocols in place, uh, you could be off the grid. I mean, forget about it. I can email you, you can email me, it doesn't cost you anything other than the cost of your internet connection, right? There's going to come a point where voice is going to be the same way. You could right now communicate with me uh, over voice without really paying anything other than the internet connection that you're currently on. And um, the thing that's stopping you really is you want it in this kind of device to go mobile. That will come. But for it to come, you have to get yourself off these existing networks that are incompatible with one another. And that's where you go to a, a common uh, wireless protocol like Wi-Fi or WiMAX. Uh, and I don't know if I'd push video over a Wi-Fi connection, but certainly audio could be done with relative ease. Maybe not the highest quality, but still, still. The time will come, uh, but I think the Internet can deliver. What do you guys think about his list, by the way? Do you think, I, and I know I think chat got modded, we must have had a, a couple of yahoos in here. Um, you know, this is a, it's a good, smart list, and I think, by and large, the internet can deliver that, at least on the desktop, or certainly on a, uh, a notebook computer. This is a different story, and I, I don't mean this as in the iPhone, I mean any portable device that relies on a wireless carrier. It's idealistic, but the internet, I think, is helping. Think of the internet as your carrier. The internet can do anything for you. Well, so long as you're not living in a country where they feel they need to monitor and censor what you're doing. And I hate to say it, but uh, here in the US, we got uh, wonderful agencies like the NSA, who have been known to, shall we say, spy? They have. I'm not making it up. It's not a conspiracy theory. It's a conspiracy fact. So, Oscar, uh, the one thing I, I wanted to underscore beyond just suggesting that the Internet can give you what you need in a feature sense, maybe not necessarily in a package sense, community. And I find that wireless carriers, no matter how much marketing they throw at us, are very community unfriendly. Very. And I, I don't know if they even want to try. I argue that community is everything. Community is your marketing team, man. That's PR, marketing, sales. It's all about community. I've seen it happen over and over and over and over and over again. It's, it's all about empowering the community giving them an outlet and validating their existence. And I don't know if uh, wireless carriers are necessarily interested in that right now. I mean, in the mass market, does community mean much? It will on an increasing basis and an, on an ever important uh, level. I think I said that right, and if I didn't, well then uh, something must have been lost in the translation. Um, no matter, uh, I, I'm totally with you. I can't I can't wait. I mean, I can. I have to. I got no choice. Uh, until then, I have to sit around here and watch lava lamp screensavers. 
not quite as exciting as, as talking about what could be with uh, communications. Uh, no matter, the internet has connected me in Seattle with you in Estonia, and I uh, certainly appreciate you uh, tuning in and sending this message to us. And it's also interesting to see, it's funny, I'm reading, and I don't know the language precisely, is that uh, Polish? I, I'm, I'm looking at the uh, part of it, I mean, uh, you know, I know Estonian and everything, but I can't tell what the language is here. It's not Russian, um, but I, I, I don't know enough about it, but I believe it's Polish. But it says, it's a whole bunch of words, and then it says Windows Live, right in the middle. Kind of cool. So Windows Live apparently is in Estonia. You learn something new every day. My email address is chris at perillo.com. Maybe you've got some commentary, suggestions, wish lists for the wireless industry, or any part of the world. What are five things that you wish an industry would be or do? How do you wish something would be? And I, whether it's something related to technology or not, you know, I'd be interested in your thoughts. Certainly would make interesting discussion. I mean, so long as we've got people who are half lucid in the chat room. You notice the, I don't know what uh, tripped in the middle of the video, but chat pretty much came to a standstill. We've got hundreds of people in there, and apparently when you let hundreds of people talk, well, and now everyone's pushing me out. They're pushing me out. So they're telling me to stop the video. Okay. So I'll stop the video. Uh, but if you want to join us in our chat room, no matter where you're from, no matter what language you write, well, hopefully it's English because that's really the only language we can talk up, in, or at least speak in inside the chat room. Uh, we're typically talking tech 24 hours a day, seven days a week at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.